G'day Wester here. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick vid on converting a distributor, a normal points distributor system to electronic ignition. Uh, in this case we're using um, AccuSpark Stealth Kit, which is basically a Hall Effect sensor. Um, And that's the little thing that comes with it module and it comes with a little a little, a little thing of um, heat paste so what you've got to do with the heat paste is you need to smear the heat paste on the underside of this assembly to dissipate the heat um, it's, only, it's pretty simple to install we just got to strip down the original so I'm just gonna quickly just tear off the side <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll just snip it off. Or not. Um, and just smear this smear this heat paste on onto the underside of the unit itself. Just give it a nice liberal even spread. And just set that aside for now. Okay, so now we're just going to strip down the unit. Um, we'll start with the condenser, take the condenser off. Just one little screw there. Um, remove the contacts for it. Take out the lead from the uh, point, comp points. Um, use a flat blade screwdriver to disassemble the points itself. Just be careful not to drop your screws inside, especially if you're working over an engine, be very, very careful. Um, so that's one down, one's over this side here as well. It's got the earth on this one. And just remove the points. Okay, so now I'm, I've just got to take this um, plate off because I need to get this wiring out um, I'll un first of all so basically just got to undo these two screws here move the earth Um, I'm going to have to undo this uh, vacuum unit so there's one screw here and one screw there so I'm just going to undo that and take that off so I can remove this whole face as one assembly again be careful they're only very short screws um, so just be careful not to drop them in or drop them and lose them on your workshop floor which is quite common for me. Um, now this whole assembly should come up without having to disassemble the vacuum unit. So we'll take that up and I want to get this off. I want to get this, um, this wire out of here. So I just need to work through that process.
I'm going to have to undo this one here. And just take that out through that hole there. And that's your wiring taken out. And then the new one. I'm just going to sit this plate back on here for now. Um, this comes in through this big wide slot here. This assembly here. I'm just going to sit it on here and just, just put a screw in just for now. Make sure you use the right screws. Just stick, sit this on here for now. Just tack it on. Okay. Um, so now we're, we're going to use this unit. We'll just give this a bit of a wipe down. This top face. Just give it a bit of a wipe down. Um, and we'll figure out where the location of this thing's going to go. before you commit to anything. Um, looks like this screw here lines up with this hole and this one with this one. So it sits on like so. So we've got that there so I'll get a screw, out, one of our flat screws in this case because it was flat. that one started don't do it up tight just get the next one going oops wrong screw problem is all the screw threads are the same <laughs> same um, size so so we'll just get that one on here and just nip it up Same with this one here. Now just put your put the um, the hex drive uh, unit on. And make sure that you've got a gap down here, a minimum air gap of one millimeter through here between the outside edge of this and the Hall effect sensor on this side. You can't actually see it from there. I'll see if I can swing it over and have a look for you. Make sure you've got a gap there, like so. Okay. So now we've got to uh, take this off and feed the wiring through. Because the wiring's got to come out through this hole here. So I'll undo this screw again. And just I'll take this off again, <clears throat> lift this up, and we want to feed this wiring round like so, and we want to get it through, oh, I think I might put it through this hole here, and see, where, see where this plate, in, if the plate ends up chopping the wires off, Oh no, uh, yeah I think I might just run it through this, this hole here. So just basically feed, hopefully we'll get it through the hole. Oh, it's going to have to go through that hole. 
feed your feed one wire at a time through. Bring that through there and just pull that through. Black one as well. So that sits in through here. And then that comes out through that, that little slot there. So we can sit that back on. turn that round so that it lines up doesn't quite fit like it should but that's that's how it goes because we can't get it through this hole you see otherwise it would be straight out um, I'm just going to get this a little bit better because I just think it shouldn't be twisted like that we'll, get it lined up so it's straight up and down like so yep and actually I might see if I can get it through this hole here because it's not working too good we'll try pull pull one cable out at a time but I think it's going to be pretty difficult to get that in, in there because it's a square unless I read uh, put some new joiners on yeah I'll just put some new joiners on I'll just cut this off that's all I'll do I'll just trim these off that's the easiest way to go pull these back through and feed them down through this one Go. Now we should be able to pull this through. We'll give it a, bit, a, little, a little bit of length now. Get it so it's about right. And then this should come through the hole. And line up with this slot over here. That's better. That's much better. Um, I'll give it a bit more slack in through here, so it sits, sits quite nice, and then we can just do these nuts up. So these are the two longer Phillips ones. One there. And one there. Just tweak them up. Now we can put our um, advanced retard chamber back on. started put your top piece on get that into position recheck your ear gap which is fine and now this this red one goes to your uh, positive side of your coil and the black one goes to the negative side of your coil 
and that's it that's that's done so then you put your um your rotor on and your distributor cap and then you um, go ahead and set your timing so that's it it's that's as easy as it is cheers for watching